All right, greetings one and all. This is the Sarcasm Detector, also known as the Low Life Cat. Doing a, a new stream tonight. We're going to be playing something different. We're going to take a break from Ark and we're going to play some Transport Fever 2. Now, I've, I've played this game a little bit before, not a lot. I think I have like 35 or 38 hours into it. I, I really do enjoy the game. It's going to be calm, it's going to be soothing, no stress at all. And it's um, it's kind of like SimCity or City Skyline, but it also has components of stuff like um, Banished or those types of game. So you're, you don't actually build cities with this or towns or villages, they come pre-built. Well, actually, let me, let's get started. So I'm going to do a custom map. Let's do dry. Actually, we're going to start off with a really small map first. And it usually has, what, four cities here? Just so you know, we are running some mods. Most of these mods are just extra things like boxcars and stuff. But there are a couple of things which are... Let's see if I can find it now. Uh, well, production times two, oh, that's not in there. But... Uh, is that mod? Uh, basically, it's a um, a uh, expansion of the resources that the cities require. Uh, okay, it's starting to get complicated. Let's just start, and I'll show you what I mean. Let this build the map and stuff. But this this game is basically about controlling vehicle. That's why it's called Transport Fever. You basically create uh, lines for cars and trains and trams and buses and trucks and boats and planes, all of that. And the different towns require certain things like uh, like food or bricks or other materials and there are they're found throughout the map so you have to get them from like take the raw resources send them over to places that can convert them into components and then you have to send those over to the towns and different towns require different things one of the mods we have installed is a, a dynamic expansion of what the towns need so let me pause this for now. It's a beautiful game, huh? So for example, this town, it requires the goods and it requires fuel. As the, uh, the date advances, if you look at the bottom right hand corner, it says January 1st, 1900. The I turned those off. The uh, the amount of goods that, that each town requires increases, so you have to send it. And once you get like the uh, once you get like components and stuff going into the town, their expansion rate will increase. Like this town, for example, is in the negatives because it is missing traffic. So basically, we have to make sure that the people in the town can get around. Yeah, okay, thank you. Let's take a look around at what we have. We don't have a lot of cities here. We only have four. So, Columbia needs goods and fuel. This makes planks. This makes fuel. So, in order to make the fuel, this is a fuel refinery, we need oil or uh, crude, I think. <laughs> So, 
we'd need is to get the oil from here and send it to a actual refinery like this guy oil refinery so we take from here send it to here and this will convert it into oil and then you send that oil over to the fuel refinery and that'll make fuel and then you send that to the city as Vegas here requires like machine parts and tool this can make uh, tools which requires wood which we can well, request planks we can get the planks from here and that requires wood and I well the wood is here so you can see it's a bit of a it is a bit of a rabbit hole so we need to send the wood up to here to make the planks and the planks to here to make tools and send the tools here and we're starting out with a quite a bit of complexity here what does this town need tools and bricks bricks we can make here it's a coal mine coal mine is there like stone anywhere here this is probably a good place to start get stone from here send it up here to make bricks and then send it back Actually, what is this? This is another coal mine. There should be a fourth city. Here it is. Which requires bricks and food. And food is fairly easy. Basically, from the farms to the food processing plant up to here, we can probably dig a tunnel. Uh, we're playing easy, so we're starting out with 10 million. And we can actually make, uh, we can take loans, I believe. Loan, this is the loan, I think. And we can make a bigger loan, but we're not going to do that at the moment. We're going to stick to what we have. And this is a very small thing. Uh, I think starting off with like a small map like this is actually harder than having a bigger map. zoom in you can actually zoom in really far here and since it's paused we can't see anything moving but I think what we need to start off with is possibly uh, some public transportation uh, there is a way to show the different colors of the neighborhoods because there's uh, residential buildings commercial buildings industrial buildings it's been a while since i played this line statistics vehicle statistics station town and industry So the date speed, we can actually, uh, let's pause the date speed. So even if we unpause the game and move forward, the date will remain January 1st, 1900. As the date progresses, we get new vehicle. And like I said, the, the town itself will also, uh, will also start demanding new thing. But before we get to that, Let's see, so we want the cooler stuff. Let's do electric. Do we need big thing? No. So here we can, what is this? Uh, waypoint for routing buildings so we have the actual cargo depot this should be a bus tram station and a bus tram stop and 
these are the depots that we can buy the vehicles from. So as I move this, you'll see the area that's highlighted is the area that this uh, particular bus station will, or tram station will cover. That's weird, it doesn't cover the area right next to it. So bizarre. Just want to set it up so that it uh, covers the most but for whatever reason the area right next to where the tram is doesn't seem to want to put one there and let's put one here put one here and let's go to depots What was the button to flip these around? I forget. There's a button to flip these around, but that is not it. So many stuff. They're just camera tools. Just trying to find out which button it is. starting out pretty well there we go M and N is what it is and this should be a way to make this a little fine we'll just do this so now that we have that going, we can make a line. Uh, on. This is not what we want. We want a tram line, right? something over here uh, no we didn't Put 
the waypoints there. Go back to the line manager. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. So we have them coming in from here. They go down here, down here, up, up, down to Second Street and coming back after 2nd Street. Like that, so it just does a loop around the city. And I'm hoping it'll loop over there. This is the warnings. The warnings say that there's no warning. There's one more thing we can possibly make, which actually would have been better than having this here. I said that is some funny business going on here. There's definitely some funny business. That is, let's go to buildings actually make a tram station way over here all right that was m and n and let's clear that so let's make a new line we can probably make two lines let's make two lines Should be enough to cover the city. And here we can buy a vehicle. Or strong car, hard strong car, San Diego electric trolley. Let's buy four of these. online too and we should probably name these this was Augusta right Should have coverage. Yeah. Only this little spot here. Which we can fix later. We can add more tram lines. But just for starting, I think that's pretty good. Let's do the same thing for the other cities. Commercial buildings. So let's start off with, again, a bus or tram depot. leading into it but for now we don't need all that what we need is the street
two of those. Actually, we should put the line in. I don't need it though. So we have two here. Let's do Columbia. Put the tram depot here. bus station straight in the middle of the residential area. It's fine. It's fine. This thing should cover most of this area. For some reason it doesn't want a place there. Okay, let's just put it here then. Since that's a uh, one way loop, cool. So we have two loops going in alternate directions, and this was Columbia, right? So possibly put like a, just the bus that goes from here to here. And this town is completely isolated, so we need to make some kind of road to get to it. And this guy's fairly isolated as well. So we'll do the same thing here. Just the two stops should be fine.
I'm not sure why it's taking it that detour there. Ah, uh, hold on. Should just do a loop de loop here. It's still doing that. We're all right. Well, that's fine. I don't think that's gonna break it. Uh, let's name this. What was the name of this? Naperville. I think we're good here. So let's unpause it and see what happens. So far, we have no people using the system, and it's costing us a lot of money. But that's fine. Very slowly, this will go up. In fact, we can speed it up quite a bit there. seven people on this line already and this line is making money so this is basically what the game is but more complicated AR50 we're taking a break from our tonight streaming doing something slightly different. Look at the birds. Look at the birds. This one's costing us quite a lot of money. This is the Las Vegas tramline one.
quite a bit of investment. We haven't really spent a lot yet. Now we could probably do a bus route from here to there or make a train station, a train line that heads from here to there and somehow join it onto this. Las Vegas one and usually when you're over 50% that starts making money. This one's making us a lot of money. We're, I think we're making more money than we're losing. We're only losing like 10K dollars, but making significantly more than that. All right, so. Let's turn some of that volume down. Which town was it that needed food? That one? And this required brick. This one was supposedly easy, right? So... Supposedly. The problem is getting the stones from the quarry here to the processing plant here, materials plant, means going through the city, which causes a lot of noise. And you can see the city is actually growing. Growth 10%, 30%, 10%, 20%. 20%. is actually doing really well, 20% growth. Even though it's isolated. See, now all the lines are making money. This is good. We'll wait for a bit. Once these get filled out, we might add more trams. So the whole fuel thing. It needs the fuel which is here. All right, so maybe investing in trains line from here to there can help us because getting the fuel up to here All right, this should be interesting. So we need a station here for passengers. We also need some kind of station for that, for commodities. And a station here for passengers and commodities, maybe. And we'll make a road that goes straight from here to there. All right, that's what we'll do. So let's actually start off here. And let's pause the game. Earning minus, really? Are we in the negatives? It hasn't kicked in how much money we're making yet? Not that, this one. Not yet. Trains are really, really expensive. Very, very, very expensive though. So that's why I started out with the tram lines inside the city. So you see how this lights up the, uh, the thing when I move out of the distance. So as long as it's lit up, it is being serviced by the truck stop here. 100,000, really? Can we make it cheaper? But 
that there and make a truck stop here as well truck unload stop So expensive. Actually, we only needed like configure. That one only needs one. Probably expand that a bit. And let's put a truck depot as well. Road depot. Should be fine. And let's make a line. So this is Las Vegas crude oil and it'll automatically set itself up so if I buy a bunch of trucks and set them on this line they will automatically know to pick up oil from here and deposit it here so that's one so let's start getting really expensive then we need a train station Bum, ba, ba, ba. So we're gonna need two lines, or maybe yeah, we're gonna need two lines. Train depot that buys and sells the trains. Cargo terminus. Cargo station. Passenger terminus is what we'll use. We'll use a passenger terminus. Let's flip it around. And let's configure this. We'll add uh, tracks. Go platform. And a cargo building. Cool. All right. So now to get from here to here. Medium country road from here. Just a straight path. spend that much ok 
Okay, that's something else. Man, oh man, that is so expensive. Vegas West to Las Vegas. Doesn't seem that it took. Let's try that again. And for some reason, this is going to the wrong spot. That is a cargo terminal, right? Okay, maybe we need to put a depot over here as well. Buildings. Ah, uh, uh, where is it? This one. Truck unload. Right, that actually might be too small. and lower part okay that's the uh, comma and period Once this is converted to oil, put the oil here and then move the oil here, which should automatically get picked up by the train station. Right, the train, the train station has to be point to point. So here, we are going to take a two track cargo station. this and then we're going to grab a passenger terminus
Oops. Well, let's do it from down here. things like these how much money we have left not that much Oof. cargo building here because we're going to need a line from here to here oh boy all right make the point from here to here did and we didn't name it are just going on the same line. Construction not possible.
for some reason it won't let me make the cross section. I think that should be fine. So let's make, we, we need two lines here. And this should be passenger. actually add to add something to enable them to cross here. swap there and we need to do something similar here Select this. 
It has to be facing that direction. Those are right. Now we can make it a double switch. All right. So I'm hoping, let's check the lines. Yeah, all right. See, all the train directions are the same. One track is for one direction. The other one's for the other. Although, this might bite us in the ass coming in the future. Passenger train might get stuck behind a uh, behind a doohickey here. All right, well, we'll leave it as it is for now. So now we just need to. This doesn't quite reach here, so we need to make a truck thing. actually has this and that I need to make it um, something like that I don't know if that'll actually work because since this is in the range of that it'll automatically take the fuel that's made it'll automatically pick it up but it's also in range of that so it'll automatically pick up the the oil well, if that's a gimmick if that'll work or not but anyways let's start out by vehicles cargo tarpaulin all cargo or flatbed can carry all these things let's make let's buy some flatbeds let's buy like I don't know how many four I'll put it on crude to oil should really make like a I should have made a train line I'll extend all the way to here but meh. and put them all on the this line and then here we need a buy so now we have to construct a train what do we have we have steam no electric no diesel so only steam How 
much money do we have left? Like five mil. And this costs a mil. Wow. But we'll have one of those. And then a cargo we need to move tank car capacity of seven. Let's put capacity 14. We can always upgrade this and add more for afterwards. Put that on that line and then we get a passenger train. We'll buy the same thing. No, cancel, cancel. Sixteen passengers. Well, we'll just start with that because expensive. On the passenger line, start things off and let it chug away. And look, it's already costing us tons of moolah. And this actually needs to go somewhere else, but we'll let it we'll let it chug because these guys have to. Look at that! There's already oil st stacking up here. Oh boy! Passengers can actually get that, so let's let's fix something. That there. And let's make a a new line. there. So this will just take people to the train station. I will buy a tram for that as well. I'll buy two. Let's leave it as it is for now. And check what the lines are doing. But we're losing a lot of money on this passenger line. Eventually, people will want to go to the train, but that's going to take a, a bit. So this... We just doubled the amount of vehicles on this line. is wrong. Production, okay.
Okay. Stored consumption. Where's the oil? Let's watch this guy. He's gonna drop the oil off. Which disappears. This guy consumes it. chemical plant. I just hope I haven't messed anything up with the mods that I have installed. But this should be producing oil. It's getting the crude. It's consuming it. But what's it doing with what it's consuming? Okay, there was something there, it disappeared. Is it just going poof? fix this. Let's pause. So I don't think this worked. Should fix it. Yeah, all right, there we go. Shipment. Right, okay, now it's gonna work.
think 56, 54. And now it's starting. But now you can actually see it start to gather here. Whoosh. All right, I was worried I broke things there. So this should be getting fuel very, very soon. And this is the passenger chain. It's actually it has a few passengers here and there. just filled up on oil, all the oil that was there. Let's borrow a little bit until we can actually start making more of a profit. But you can see here's minus 600,000. This is because we're building. We're still making a huge loss. Shipping zero. Uh, these guys should automatically. Man, this is getting complicated. It should load up on fuel and unload on... No, that's wrong. Oil. And this one here should... confused sometimes. It really does. Oh, 
I know what the problem is. I'm a dumbass. So it's these guys. So we need to make a truck route from here. Pause it for a sec over to here. So you really have to go end to end with this uh, buildings. That's going to be a problem. So what we're going to do, let's erase that. We're going to build some roads. Street. This is on the wrong side of the street. this way. can deliver fuel so let's do four on 
this one in there. Oh, is that, did I put a passenger thing? I thought I put a truck stop. If I unpause it now, as you can see, all right, you see the town's growing already. And some of the roads are already expanding. All right, so if I go here, Columbia is now a consumer. It's working. It's picking up the fuel from here. It's going to deliver it to here. The next time the train comes by, it's going to drop off the oil and pick up the fuel and drop it off here. We should have just uh, had the trucks deliver it, but that's fine. It's producing for 400, it's shipping 400, transport is 30%. Why is transport 30%? Because we need more. vehicles that's going to be quite a bit of money oh boy borrow another million so from here this is oil delivery manage vehicles let's clone these as well those are the ones that are delivering the oil to here. That's the passenger train. That's fine. There, this guy. Manage vehicle. Uh, where was the upgrade? Edit selected vehicle. add more capacity Oof, look at that 400,000 modify almost all of it Sixteen. Uh, this guy we can upgrade this guy as well passenger Add another one. Which, really? I don't have the money for that. I'm just adding one boxcar home. Never mind, we'll let it run at full for now. How's this one doing? Good, good. What about this? have a little bit of noise pollution. Yes, they are.
Let's pause that for now and try this again. so confused. I just want you to come out here. Oh boy. Why? Why? again from here. You can see the industry is growing, stuff is being delivered. We can also use this to deliver the other thing, the boxed goods here. Oh, look at that commercial building. So we're getting five. Spectacular. Can we get more? as well. There are passengers waiting and there's tons and tons of oil. This is at peak. And it's not quite keeping up. And neither is this. Making money. So just double the amount of stuff to deliver to here.
And can we not afford that? Apparently not. Either that. So we need to borrow more money. We might need two trains for this. the train. Just watch as the train zips by. One's losing money. Why are you losing money? But we're making money. People waiting here, 16. How many people waiting here? 16. So let's upgrade this. We now have cash so we can add we can add it up to 32 48 oh there's still people waiting here I didn't pick it up fast enough but the next trip over 
How's the city looking? 27. It's growing 50%. Very, very nice. So, tram lines. Let's just double that. And double that. This one's not bad. We have destinations. That's the the train going up and down. And there's a little bit of sound pollution, which isn't too bad. Next thing would be possibly getting um, tools set up. But where is there a forest nearby? Forest is here. So we need to move the wood from here all the way up to here. So possibly delivery from here to here, add a train, deliver it to here, and then trucks to here, and then pick up the planks back to here to deliver it back here, and then deliver it to here. So you guys see how complicated this game gets. And then there are towns that want other stuff. So for this one shouldn't be too difficult. Like there's two farms here to the, the bread maker, the bakery. And then, well, actually it's going to be expensive because... You need to go around. This one doesn't even have a road connecting to it. Or we make a tunnel through here, which would probably be the easiest, but most expensive. And then this guy, he, uh, this one is also pretty... It also needs tools. But getting that up and running would be important. There's two towns that need tools. Yeah. This guy needs bricks, which this town also needs. So maybe having an airport connecting here and there. Confusing, eh? Yeah, uh, I think the issue is that this is a small map, is what it is. Oh wait, there's wood right there and there. So maybe boats. <laughs> when you have a, when you have a much bigger map and there's more stuff around, then it there's so much stuff to do, of course. But it it I find it a little bit easier. In any event, this has just been like a, a little bit of a preview of this map of this game. I think next time we'll uh, next time we play this, we'll we'll use a different map. We'll use a bigger map. Change it around a little bit. It is a fun game and getting it set up properly, playing properly does take a little bit of, uh, well, quite a bit of head scratching. In any event, I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. And we'll catch you soon. We'll probably be playing Ark again tomorrow. We'll see. Have yourselves a good night.